Hey guys, um, pretend I've got makeup on. <laughs> Don't look so tired. Um, I just wanted to do a thinking out loud video because it was just going through my mind. I was thinking, I wish I had a book club with you guys and then we could all discuss it and things. Um, but I was thinking about one of my favorite topics, the pyramids. Um, the pyramids all around the world. Of course, it starts with the ones in Egypt, but there's pyramids everywhere. And um, so I thought I'm just going to stick on the camera and think out loud with you guys. So I've loved all sorts of theories regarding the pyramids, um, you know, aliens, everything, right? Um, the gods and things like that. Um, but today I was just sat here thinking, well, to allow civilization to think that these spectacular beings built the pyramids serves a purpose to people who don't want us to find our creative selves. Yes, I'm a conspiracy theorist as well. Um, because... If it was a civilization, let's say, um, before us that was, I don't know why people just presume they were not as educated as us. I don't think we're very educated these days. Um, smartphones, dumb people. Um, then I think that, you know, it serves a purpose to the powers that be, shall we say, um, to let us think up these theories um, that aliens or some somebody else came and built the pyramids for us, um, when in actual fact, um, I believe probably we was more advanced back then, and then we've had these floods and climate changes because the pyramids at the Giza are actually a clock I believe right and they let us know um, the zodiac um, signs and things like that you will have heard the sphinx being um, a lion they call it and it looks at the constellation of Leo when it's lined up well actually it's a mixture I believe of um, Aquarius and Leo so you know when we see let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. The fixed signs. So the fixed signs are Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo and Taurus. So Leo and Aquarius are opposite each other. And Taurus and Scorpio are opposite each other. So we see, um, you know, we'll often see... Um, an eagle head and a bull's body. So it's the it's telling you that um, Scorpio and Taurus there. That's a mix of that, and we see the mix of Aquarius and Leo in the Sphinx, right? Um, and people are like, why has it got a man's head and things like that? Actually, it's an angel's head um, for Aquarius. Um, because that's how the ancients viewed Aquarius as an angel. I know all you Aquariuses uh, think you're angels too, but I bet others had things to say about you, right? You can't find it in this deck. Um, probably one of the older tarot decks will show it. You guys get what I mean anyway, right? I'm just now hung up on finding this card. <laughs> um yeah, so it lines up and it's a clock, basically. Um, it tells us every 26,000 years um, that we will have these equinox changes, right? They all line up. So we have it here on this one. The wheel, you know, where we see Aquarius and Scorpios, the Phoenix, the Eagle, and we see the bull and Leo. So we see this axis lining up um, Leo and Aquarius. And we'll often see um, 
you know, we'll be like, why have they mixed? I used to think before, um, why have they mixed animal bodies with, you know, human bodies? And is it, you know, they was, I had a theory once that they was mixing genetics and trying to perfect the human species and things like that. Um, and before anybody jumps on here and starts saying, you know, about God and creation and things like that, it's not about that. It's about learning to think for yourself and um, reading from a book or anything like that um, without feeling your own intuition. I don't agree with because you're being taught to remember, not taught to think. You're being taught to remember. And I'll keep saying it because it's. I believe if you're remembering what somebody else has wrote, please argue with me and tell me you're not taught to remember what's put in history books and what's put in any kind of books, right? You're being taught to remember rather than taught to think. If you think, you'll weigh up all the other options and all the ideas and, you know, you'll end up crazy like me just out there and looking out the book. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is why um, they'll have human and animal bodies, right? You can see Aquarius represented up here in the corner as an angel, and that's the Sphinx. <laughs> Long time to get that right. Um, but, you know, they line up with a great flood and these climate changes. And these climate changes have then been um, put into these books and recorded a certain way by man's memory, right? Um, Romanticised, you know. Uh, I haven't seen it, but somebody told me about this thing on Netflix about this guy. I think it's called 365 Days or something, where this woman's forced to fall in love and peep, all these women were going crazy, like, oh, it's a really hot story and it's... um you know, better than 50 shades of grey and all that crap. Well, um, I'm a Scorpio and 50 shades of grey was boring. So I had no interest in watching that either. But when people was describing it to me and not watching it on a film, I was like, you are romanticising like this narcissistic behaviour, abusive behaviour. And um, I can tell we're getting off topic, but that's how my mind works. It'll spring off and things like that. Um but you're romanticizing, um, what's it called? Um, you know, where you fall in love with the person. Is it Stockholm Syndrome? You fall in love with the person who's kidnapped you and things like that. Yeah, um, I was like, doesn't sound sexy. <laughs> but a lot of people thought it was. So each to their own, right? Um, but again, it's romanticizing certain ideas so it sort of sits with us better i guess it sits with some better um that you know this great flood was sent by the gods or god and aliens whatever it is we're just thinking out loud here and if you're open to thinking that's wonderful if you're um, open to sharing your ideas that's wonderful that's what we're about we're not trying to be like you're wrong he's right and things like that i've read all religious texts um so yeah the pyramids um i think it serves a purpose that if we think we can't achieve great things like that it kind of keeps us in place right it kind of stops us being our creative selves because we're like we couldn't possibly do that um must be another great wonder i mean i i'm a person who looks up atlantis and things like that and all those sorts of things um because i just i just have this need to know right um and a lot of people will say well the ancient civilization or they just presume they didn't have technology. So they'll say, well, if you look at the pyramids, there are, they only used like certain tools to make the pyramids, right? And we couldn't move the blocks because 
they it was too heavy too big whatever we couldn't move them from one place to another place and then you'll see other things saying well there's evidence of cutting tools and machinery um being used on the pyramids so it must be aliens um well we know that well whatever you believe we know that a great flood washed civilizations away so why couldn't they have had machinery if they was washed away and we started again and we've got machinery now why wouldn't they have machinery you, you know these things i think just presuming that they were less than us i think that's where we start to go wrong um i actually think probably there was way more advanced um than us i think these advanced civilizations these natural disasters may have washed them away in simple facts and um because scientists if you want to look at it from a scientist point of view um or a religious point of view they'll say this great flood happened or this great earthquake or this great fire this great ice age happened and everybody everything was like there was mammoths frozen in time while they were still eating so it's happened instantly and wiped out um different animals and things like that you know and made them extinct and things um it, i think it's just because maybe they don't have proof of the machinery that they say it's something else or they may find uh, proof of the machinery and not tell us just like an example um egypt is a muslim country now so they are very strict on what you're allowed to see what you're allowed to film and things like that because it won't line up or doesn't line up with their religion so you know there's things like that that happen so yeah i'm just thinking out loud so this is obviously going off in different directions but we know as well or at least believe on this channel on tarot channels on horoscope channels we believe that you know the stars are lining up and they have a great effect on us so why wouldn't they make something that would point out the stars i mean how the pyramids and everything are lined up to other pyramids around the world and where to believe that they wasn't in communication with each other the civilizations they wasn't mixing and things like that but we'll find even let's take it smaller than the pyramids then right obviously trade went on between people obviously we've always had people like me <laughs> who want to go out and explore so we see um you know there's people who got on a horse and decided you know what I'm sick of those wife and kids. I'm off. <laughs> I know my sense of humor is just as bad as the way I think out loud, right? But yeah, they'll just be people who like, what's, what's over that bridge there? And what's over the next hill? It's just natural human curiosity, which I think technology for us has helped us dull down. Um, you know we get busy with life and then we'll start watching soaps netflix and things like that and i get it i've done it and you know it's always felt like there's something more so i believe obviously back then there was something pe people was feeling there's something more i need to go look there's something more beyond my city and even it shows that they moved the stone from one area to another um they went and traded goods and we see that in rugs and pottery and things like that that they've traded and golds and you know precious stones and things that have been traded along the way so 
we're supposed to believe that people stayed still and stayed put. I mean, um, people aren't really great at doing what they're told. So this is why I believe other sort of controls are put in place because we're not really great. As soon as somebody tells us what to do, we're like, hmm, I want to do the opposite. We're rebels. <laughs> I said to my friend, we're rebels without a cause. So, yeah. And so back to this ancient civilizations and just the example of like the pyramids. Um, most of the pyramids are like calendars. Do you remember the uh, Mayan calendar of, what was it, 2012, where the world was going to end and things like that? And now we've moved into the age of Aquarius. Um, so that'll be the Sphinx and um, Leo, like I said. Um, so the Sphinx eyes will point at the star constellation of what age we're in, right? And it'll, it's basically telling us when the ne next big a flood or you know cosmic lineup will happen and we know that we know that in the age of Aquarius we're now moving back up to um we was in the dark ages we're going back up to the bronze ages and we're going back up to this time of enlightenment where there's this mass awakening going on and I guess everybody everybody seems to be searching for answers more than just that one person on the horse leaving his wife and kids. Everybody's now wanting answers and demanding more because it's getting harder and harder to keep us asleep, right? So, I mean, some people want to remain asleep, but yeah, guys, my thinking out loud videos are just that. I'm just thinking. Don't take any offence. Um, if you take any offense, it just means I'm your soulmate and I'm meant to trigger you into um, <laughs> healing something within you. So don't take any offense. Um, but I'm just thinking out loud. You know, um, we haven't really on this channel discussed the COVID-19 situation. And that's because I believe like, we don't need it constantly in our face. That makes us ill. I don't know about you guys, having something constantly told to you makes you ill. It was actually downgraded in the UK on the government website um, in March. So you could check that out, uh, www.gov.co.uk. It's on there. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to go into an argument about that either. It's just my preference. I do not want it smothered in my face. If somebody's telling you you're going to get ill every single day, your brain's going to manifest it. So yeah, I, I don't really want to watch all that stuff. I'll talk about all that stuff. I mean, we can't avoid, we've all been locked down, but it just is what it is, right? I hope in lockdown we've actually found um, our creative side. I, I, I mean, it's given a lot of people a chance to have a break from the rat race, um, from being, you know, constantly waking up by an alarm, doing everything by an alarm. I mean, before lockdown, I hardly seen anybody in the parks. During lockdown, I seen everybody outside getting exercise, getting fresh air, actually talking to each other. And this is goes back to that thing about us being a rebel. Once we're told, don't do it, we'll do it, right? So I seen everybody then deciding, okay, I'm going to the park, I'm walking with my family, talking to other families. And I know some people will be saying, look, we wasn't supposed to be doing that. Nobody's staying locked down. But I'm saying, look at the good that's come from it. I mean, if we was posting every day, well, 99 million people survived this day, you know, um, rather than the negative, I feel like it would have a different impact on us. Right. 
So yeah, me saying, I hope people have found a way to work for themselves. Um, because if you are not building your own dream, somebody will hire you to build their dream. So I, I do hope that, you know, you found a way to work for yourself. You found maybe a new fitness regime. You found what you're passionate about. You had a time to stop and think, what do I want to do with my life? You know, do I want to work forever for somebody else? Do I just want to continue to w wake up to an alarm? Do I want to take care of my health? You know, I really just f feel and hope to you guys like had the opportunity to um, look at those things. I, I hope that in itself was a wake up call when you're then kept away from your family. I've been looking at this card. That's what I'm looking at. Seven of Swords and under that is the strength. So I, I really hope that you guys had a chance to look at this energy and find strength in it, not weakness. Um, I, I definitely look at this when I was talking as it was mentally challenging if you allow it and you take on all this information because that's what swords are, words and thoughts. If you're taking on all this, these words and thoughts into your mind, like I said, your brain will manifest it. If you are constantly looking for updates and information on that, I would have a break from it and see how you feel after that. Um, I always tell everybody, like for me personally, on my own personal journey, it started with me turning off social media um, until I could control it because I would do this with my phone and I would be constantly, I'd be on Facebook and I didn't even realize it. I wouldn't even be looking at my phone and stuff. And then I'd look and I'd see the same stuff. Everybody looks happy and everybody looks, you know, um, has a screenshot of a moment in time. They look like they're living their best life. They're on their holidays and they've got these beautiful new things. And I was sat there like, how are they doing this? <laughs> you know, and why are they so happy and I'm not? I, because I was looking at somebody else's happiness and dreams and things like that and worrying why are they happy and I'm not rather than just being happy. Um, people are obviously happy in a snapshot of time. It's basically a smile at the second and it's past. It's a photograph. It may not tell you that they got that new car and they got that new house and those holidays and they are dripping in debt and arguing every night and they're making themselves and their children or each other miserable and things. You know, all that is quite possible, but you're looking and yeah, so until I understood, I just took myself off social media. Um, and I think when you're first hurt and healing, it's a very positive thing to do and TVs and things like that. Um, so yeah, again, just branching out in a totally different direction, but I wanted to um, share that with you guys and I want you guys to do that. I want you guys to think for yourself. If you think I'm wrong, that's what I wanted you to do. I want you to be like, yeah, she's wrong. You know, I, I believe in this and this is what I believe in. That's what we should be in the world. Like, um, we should be all different. There's so much beauty in the diversity. And um, I posted on my story last night for people to give me topics on videos. So I'll be doing them today and um, post them. I'll try and put a bit of makeup on for you guys. I'll try. <laughs> Have a good day.